everyone, Mr. Market here and today I've got part 6 on how to make a Discord chatbot and in this video I'm going to show you how to set the game that the account is connected to currently playing and also how to change the status uh, as well as create another few things with that status as well. Um, so the video shouldn't be too long um, but it's going to cover two pretty nice little things. Um, what we're going to do is if I open Discord up you can see the the bot was online when I was testing it and you can see that it's playing Merc API which is not a game it's just like a custom thing that I've wrote there for some reason the bot's still online even though it's shut <laughs> um, but uh, not too much I can do about that what we'll do is we'll launch it back up in a second so we can either if you can see I triggered it in the chat with a command like so uh, you could just put it in a command um, with all the other commands or what you can do which I did is you can copy a button which I'll call set game and inside the button what you can do is you can type discord dot set game and you can see it requires a game as a discord game so we can't just enter a string in what we got to do is use um, you got to type new game we have to create a new uh, game which discord can recognize and it takes three parameters it takes the game name uh, so for the for that we can call it anything you like like in the tutorial I or what I showed you Merc API just like that then it also has the game type which we're just going to select default um, I believe twitch is possibly something to do with discords twitch streamer mode where it hides a few things from the interface um, but don't quote me on that because I've not yet tried it but we're just going to go with default and then you need to have a URL uh, as a string now I'm not too sure this is that important um, to actually have or or even be set at all but I'm going to put the website just there like that and then what we can do is just launch the program up and the bot should be online again still but you can see because we've launched it it's not playing any game um, so if we open the tool up and hit set game you can see now that it's flicked over and the, the bot is now playing Merc API um, and whatever now I'm not too sure because we set the URL uh, to MercAPI.com I'm not sure where that comes in or how we can navigate to the URL because I'm quite new to discord but it's there somewhere so that is how you set a game uh, what you could also do, if we go back into our code, um, where we've entered Merc API here, uh, you could allow like a text box where you could enter the name in a text box. But using this way, I've hard coded the game name in. Um, but you can have like text boxes, or if you're doing it with a command, you could add the arguments onto the name and stuff um, to have a better experience with the uh, interface and stuff. So the next thing we're going to do is we'll copy the button again this time what I'm going to do is call it set status now if we go back in here it's kind of similar to um, the set game it's discord dot set status and this requires a status as a discord user status so again we can't just put online or whatever we need to type user status dot and then from here you can see all the different uh, statuses available to us um, to show you that it's working, I'll hit do not disturb and I'll launch the tool back up. So now if we head over to Discord, open the tool and you can see that I'm online. If I hit the status, you can see that my status has gone to do not disturb and that's how you set your status. What you can also do, um, if I open up the code again, uh, what we should do is probably get a bit more room for ourselves in here and bring these two buttons over to the right uh, well, the status here just this is just some ideas for you you could have uh, what do you call them you could have a combo box in here just like that and resize it and what you do is you um, edit the items and you'd have online uh, if I click in there online offline idle and so on so you'd have all your statuses in there press OK and when this button's clicked you'd say um, if combo box 1 
dot selected item is equal to idle then what you do in here is you would have your your little status and then instead of do not disturb we're going to set it to idle just like that and then you'd have like else if combo box one dot selected item is equal to online uh, what happened there paste that back in and then here would have online just like that and that's how you can select your little status from a combo box inside the program again you can do the status in a command um, just like uh, I said with the the game and just one more thing before I go is last time where we left off I believe we sh I showed you the server command here uh, which displayed a, f a little bit of information about the server which you're currently in uh, following that what I want to show you is just another one called um, info or information what it's essentially going to do is send information back to the user who triggered it information about them uh, and I'll show you a bit more when we get to it so just like all the others we're going to send the message back to the channel um, but this time if I use message dot user we want to use user because we want to get information about the user that triggered it and then you can see it's already highlighted that joined that and what this does is it it displays the date in which the user joined so if we click that one uh, just like the server we'll have a, a little string saying joined at and then add that on there and then we'll come to the other side of it and we'll create a new line and then we'll go again so this time we'll create uh, last online and we'll use message dot user dot last online and if you also saw there uh, we also saw last activity so we'll go ahead and do that one as well or last active that will do we'll say message dot user dot last activity app and that will display three little things so if we launch that up if we go into our little discord channel and I type info you see it sent three bits of information I joined at this date uh, I was last online at this date which is now pretty much which is right now and I was last active now um, so that is that now what we can do is go back to this stop debugging and uh, what you can do if, if you add it on again message dot user this is where you can let yourself add more so there's a whole lot of things you can get about the user itself so you can get their permissions um, you can get I think voice channel or channels it tells you which channel they're in also uh, you can get their roles um, and all things like that so there's a lot of other things you can get about the user oh, the voice crack <laughs> there's a lot of other things you can get about the user and send it back to them uh, it's a nice little way or an easy way to let the user know like their roles or whatever and information about themselves so it's a pretty nice little neat command if you ask me and um, so it's pretty nice to have that in your bot um, so that's the few things I wanted to show you today and um, if you have got any ideas or um, what you, what you call it anything you want to see in the next video um, relevant to the discord bot then please leave a comment and I'll try my best to get it done for you um, for next video so if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and I'll see you next time